July 1st, 2022 marks 25 years since Britain returned Hong Kong to China. Here's a look at how the city has developed and changed in that time. Since 1997, Hong Kong has opened a new airport, a new container port terminal, a high-speed rail link with China, and six new MTR lines. But the cost of transport has also risen. The starting fare for the city's iconic red taxis stood at $14 back in 1997. This year, it's set to rise to $27. Let's have a look at some of the other numbers that have changed over the last 25 years. There are more people here than before. The city's population has grown more than 14% since the year of the handover, and its population density has increased by nearly 21%. Its most crowded district is Quintong, with a density of nearly 60,000 people per square kilometre. And those people are paying more. The average price per square metre for housing in the city has risen 119% since 1997. The increase has left Hong Kong as the least affordable housing market in the world. So the population has grown. But who are these people? In a 1996 census published just before the handover, 60% of Hong Kong's population declared themselves to be British, claiming UK nationality with only the right to live in the city, while 31% reported their nationality as Chinese living in Hong Kong. Filipinos accounted for 1.9%, while Canadians and Americans each accounted for 0.5%. Fast forward to the most recent census in 2021, when 90% of the city's population described themselves as Chinese nationals. Filipinos now account for 2.7% of the population, Indonesians made up 2%, and British nationals only accounted for 0.5% of the population. One area that has remained consistent throughout these 25 years is the language. Cantonese still is the most commonly spoken language in Hong Kong, although there has been a slight decrease in its use. The number of people who speak English, Hong Kong's second official language, has gone up, from 38% to nearly 59%. While the number of people who speak China's official language, Mandarin, has increased from 25% to about 54% over the 25 years since the handover. So what about the economy? Hong Kong's GDP has risen 95.4% since 1997. Compare this to the 76.9% growth seen in the United Kingdom over the same time. This, of course, is dwarfed by China's 1,430% growth over the last 25 years. As a global business hub, Hong Kong saw a record 903 regional headquarters set up by non-Hong Kong companies in 1997, 113 of which were mainland Chinese companies. This business presence has only grown. In 2021, Hong Kong had 1,457 regional headquarters of foreign-owned companies, 252 of which were mainland Chinese firms. While there are many more Chinese firms with bases in the city, Hong Kong's overall contribution to China's economy has fallen in percentage terms. Back in 1997, Hong Kong accounted for more than 18% of China's total GDP. But today, Hong Kong accounts for only 2.3% of the GDP of the world's second largest economy. Hong Kong was promised 50 years as a special administrative region under the one country, two systems principle 25 years ago. That agreement is set to expire in 2047.